This is the Growth Farming Podcast. It's great to see you. I'm D. Grant Smith. Hey, what are you growing? Want to grow a fantastic life, become your best self, and marvel in the joys of every day? Awesome. Me too. That's what growth farming is all about. It's being a whole person operating out of love as the core to who you are as a human being. This way of living impacts everything in your life, from you fulfilling your purpose, having the best relationships with your family, friends, business, and professional connections, acquaintances, and even folks you don't know very well. Our relationships with other people have tremendous impact on our lives, and our primary relationship is with ourselves. When that's not healthy... When we're not whole, all sorts of issues, problems, and struggles are present, and that's what we experience. This podcast is about the growth farming method for living your best life, being the greatest version of you, having the most healthy and awesome relationships, experiencing success in every area of your life, and being in a place of growth. Each episode will feature a combination of philosophy, stories, metaphors, and word pictures to illustrate the focus even more and give you an opportunity to join into the discussion. Periodically, I will feature conversations with other folks who are doing life this way too. Some of these people you may know or have heard of. Others may be new names and voices. Either way, I invite you to join in and be a part of this growth farming community. You can do that right now by becoming a part of the Growth Farming Tribe at my website, dgrantsmith.com. In the pop-up window, you'll be able to sign up. It is a weekly newsletter sent by email, but it is not an email that you're going to go, this again? It's an email that you want to get, full of encouragement, insights into improving yourself and living your best life. I promise, it's not one of those annoying series of sales pitches. God, I hate those things. There's nothing growth farming about that junk. This is connection, community, and a way for you to interact with me in a real way. And if you want a more personal approach to overcoming challenges and difficulties in your life, like healing from a painful relationship, feelings of unworthiness, and gaining a stronger mindset, message me and ask about the Be Solid coaching program. My email address is dgrant at dgrantsmith.com. I respond to every email personally, and I look forward to hearing from you. Today, I want to give you insights into what my method of growth and success looks like. That's what growth farming is, and that's why I am the growth farmer for success. I want to talk to you and share with you about how to apply growth farming to your life and provide a launch pad for the ongoing episodes of this podcast. You'll hear me talk about some personal development things, including my upcoming book series, Be Love Through Growth Farming. The first book in that series is titled Be Solid, How to Go Through Hell and Come Out Whole, due out in late 2019. And it's all about healing from past hurts to live your best life as a whole person so that you can have healthy relationships and achieve your dreams. So, let's dive in, shall we? Here's the core philosophy and metaphor behind everything I do and the core to growth farming as a way of living and being. Imagine your heart and your mind are a garden. Your thoughts and your emotions are fertile soil for you to plant, nurture, and grow stuff inside of yourself. Just like a garden bed has fertile soil for you to plant seeds, cultivate, and water them to grow into plants and trees that produce life and produce crops and produce all sorts of things. What are you producing with your life through your actions, attitudes, and behaviors? Look at your life. What's working and what isn't? All of that is the produce of what you are planting inside yourself with your thoughts, beliefs, attitudes, and emotions. All of us have proverbial weeds, thorns, and bad seeds in our heart and mind gardens that we have to deal with. Some of this junk comes from our conditional programming from childhood, bad experiences with people, and beliefs that we fostered from our parents, teachers, friends, and even the media. 
You accept things that are communicated to you through words, actions, and attitudes that you see and experience during your life. All of us do this. Hurt people hurt people. You've heard that phrase before. Hurt people operate out of the pain that is inside of them. Instead of doing the work to tend, heal, and take care of their inner heart and mind gardens. So they tend to attract and foster relationships that are also unhealthy. The opposite of this is also true. Loving people love people. They are regularly doing the messy inner heart and mind work to keep their inner gardens flourishing. They also attract more healthy, loving, and whole relationships, and love is what they produce with their life. Which of these two types of people are operating as the best version of themselves? And which one do you want to be more like? One key to becoming the best version of yourself, living your best life, having healthy and fruitful relationships with people, reaching your goals and dreams, and fulfilling your purpose on this earth is being aware of how you are gardening your mind, your heart, your spirit, and your body. Yeah, all four of those are the four main elements that make up you. Here on this podcast, we're primarily focusing on your mind and your heart, though there will be periodic mentions, references, and even tools to grow your physical and spiritual wellness. What's one thing that you can do today to growth farm your life and move forward with becoming the best version of you? Practice the art of awareness. What is awareness? It's pretty simple. It's paying attention to yourself, your thoughts, your actions, your attitudes, and your behaviors. Instead of looking at other people and constantly being in a state of criticism, judgment, or making assumptions about what people think or feel, be aware of you having those thoughts and you having those feelings. And do the active work to move away from feelings, or attitudes of criticism, judgment, and assumptions. Look more closely at yourself. What emotions are you feeling most of the time in your heart? What thoughts are you having on a consistent basis in your mind? Are they affirming of yourself and other people? Or are they full of doubt, worries, fears, and anxiety? Just like how you can tell the health and condition of a garden by what you see green and growing, which could be tall weeds, thorns, briars, and stuff that you don't want. All you have to do to know the state of your inner well-being is to be aware of your thoughts and feelings. Does this mean that having a thought of doubt or worry means that you're unhealthy? No, not at all, my friend. That means you're human. (laughs) You're going to have thoughts that don't feel good. You're going to have worries, and you're going to get nervous, and you're going to feel pain, and you're going to feel fear, and you're going to be concerned. And you're going to get angry. And you're not going to like stuff. And maybe you're not going to like some people for a little bit. Just be aware of the predominant thoughts and feelings. The stuff that you think and feel on a regular basis. When you become aware of a lot of tension, stress, frustration, worry, anxiety, and similar stuff being a regular way that you think and feel, there are some things in your inner heart and mind garden that need to be tended to. Some of those things need to change. What you focus on grows. That's a very core growth farming and life truth. What you focus on is what you're cultivating with your thoughts. It's what you feed your mind. So tend to your thoughts and what you put your focus on. Be aware of this and you'll be able to tend your mind garden and be more at peace. Foster healthy ideas and gain confidence. We'll talk more about what this looks like and how to do it in future episodes. Here's a very important truth to grab a hold of. Awareness is the primary key to growth and change in your life. Yet, taking action on that awareness is the only way to make any change or growth happen. Become aware of yourself, but don't stop at awareness. Do what you need to do to make change happen. Oftentimes, we can't do that on our own, or we don't know where to start or what to do. And that's why working with a coach or mentor is one of the best ways you can take to take care of yourself, to gain peace and clarity on what those next steps are, to feel empowered and encouraged in your journey, 
and gain the tools to grow the right stuff inside of yourself to produce your best life. I'm that coach. I'm the growth farmer. Work with me by going to dgrantsmith.com and clicking on the Work With Me tab. Growth farming is a way of life, a way of being, a way of incorporating your actions, attitudes, beliefs, and behaviors into a mode of operating that brings out your best life. Yeah, your best life. Don't settle for anything less than the best for you. Hey, I'm D. Grant Smith, the growth farmer for success, and I thank you for joining me here in this podcast and in this growth farming process. Thanks for being a part of the first podcast episode here. And I invite you and encourage you to share this podcast with someone that you know to help them grow and live their best life. And I hope you'll come back next time for another episode to gain even more right here on the Growth Farming Podcast. I'll see you then.